What's up? My name is Triple Sheet and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll show you how to set up PHP 8.1 for Nginx. It's relatively simple and I'll be using Ubuntu 22.04. We'll start by sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade just to make sure that everything's up to date. Then we'll use sudo apt install software properties common and sudo add apt repository ppa andre slash php to get access to PHP 8.1 and above. Otherwise, we'll be stuck on 7.4 and older versions. Then when that's done, we'll be running sudo apt update and we can start by installing PHP 8.1 for Nginx using FPM. Note that we're not installing just plain PHP 8.1. When we do so, we'll have to prompt yes, and it'll grab a couple of mods. Then when it's done, we'll have a base installation of PHP 8.1 on our server with nothing really installed on it. Running PHP FPM 8.1 tag V, you'll see we're running 8.1.9. This is the latest version. Of course, to install extensions, you can use sudo apt install, say PHP 8.1 hyphen common and other commands like this. I'll be installing quite a few in one go, including SQL, XML, XML, RPC, curl, GD, iMagic, CLI, dev, IMAP, MB string, OP cache, soap, zip, redis, and intel. Then I'll add tag y to the end of it so we won't be prompted for anything and it'll start collecting and installing all of these extra packages that I asked for. By the time that it's done, we may be needed to restart some services. I'll leave everything as is, hit enter, and those services will be restarted as necessary. Running PHP FPM 8.1 tag v, you'll see it's still working. And if we were to try and say PHP tag v, it's pointing straight to PHP FPM 8.1, which means our installation is successful. Now let's set this up to work with Nginx sudo nano etsy php 8.1 fpm php.ini and we're inside of the php configuration file. Inside of it, I'll be changing some things for better performance. We'll start by control w and searching for upload, but we'll find upload max file size. You can change this to larger sizes if you'll be accepting files on your server. For me, I'll leave this as is. Then we also have post max size, which is default eight megabytes. And you won't really need to lift this unless you hit limits when you're trying to post things to your server. We also have memory underscore limit default 128. I'll set this to 256 M just so we have a bit more memory on our server. Max execution time is set to 30 seconds. You can raise this to maybe 600 for 10 minutes, 30 seconds, or just 60 seconds. I'll leave mine at the default of 30 as I won't be using PHP all that much. Then PHP input vars, we've got it set to a thousand, but you can raise this to 3000 if necessary. And of course, finally, we have max input time. Sometimes you'll want to set this to a limit instead of the default of unlimited, for which I'll set max input time to 1000. Control S and Control X to close it. Then we'll need to sudo service PHP 8.1 FPM restart. And when it's done, everything should be set up. Then you'll need to nano your Nginx server and check whatever things are pointing to here. In my case, this over here should be pointing to Unix var run PHP PHP 8.1 FPM dot sock. This is the correct socket for PHP 8.1 as we've just installed this and this is what it should be using. If I were to open up this page, you'll see that my URLs page is set up and working as it should be. I haven't got my database set up just yet, but PHP 8.1 is working on my server as I would expect. This page was previously just showing an error as we didn't have fast CGI set up with PHP installed. So at this point, everything's set up. You now know how to install PHP 8.1 for Nginx on Debian or Ubuntu. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!